guys, real quick, just before you get into this video, I just wanted to let you all know that the Moldy Worm Gaming channel now actually has a Discord server. So if you're interested in joining the Discord server, I will leave a link in the description below for you to go and check it out. Uh, basically, the kind of things I'm going to be posting on there is uh, when I need help with a video, or uh, if I post a new video, I'll announce it on there. Just sort of small things that I post on most of my social media platforms. Uh, but it'd be great to talk to some of my viewers, and um, Discord is a great way to do that. So if you're interested, then definitely go and check it out. But with that said, I'll let you get on with the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today we are back in SnowRunner continuing the Let's Play series and today is actually a very special video because it's the first free update that the uh, that SnowRunner has received. It's called The Rift, in case you didn't know that. Um, now, this update did come out uh, a couple of days ago, so uh, I apologize for this video being late, but those of you who are subscribers to the channel or that follow me on social media will know that my controller has been broken, so I haven't been able to make any gaming content over the last week. But I have now got a new controller, and I am able to make gaming videos once again. So, today... We are back in um, Tamar, that is actually how it's pronounced, I found out. Uh, we're over here in Drowned Lands, and you can see that I have unlocked the quarry, and I have unlocked Zinegorsk. Uh, but now we also have a new map to go and explore, which is the Rift. So, the way you do this, you have to first unlock the quarry, as you can see, and then you have to travel from the quarry to the rift. Now, if you don't know how to unlock the quarry, I'm not going to be showing you in this video, but I'll leave a link in the description to the video that I used. Basically, there's like two missions you have to go and do in Drownlands, and then you will unlock the tunnel and you can travel to the quarry. Uh, so today, we are going to be traveling to the brand new rift map. And I thought, what better vehicle to do it in than a Russian vehicle? So today, we are going to be exploring the brand new map in this awesome Can LO4F, or LOAF, as it has been nicknamed in the community. Now, this little vehicle um, does have quite a lot of cool upgrades. Um, it's a pretty sturdy little car. And... Um, quite a few of the upgrades were locked you had to go and explore them in the map so i decided to go off camera and actually see if i could unlock as many of the upgrades as possible so at the moment it's kind of this um boring looking van but we can actually turn this thing into a bit of a beast so we can upgrade the engine um there are three different engine options you can see the standard is pretty rubbish um this kr115 the power to weight does increase the other two don't really increase um but this kr120 at is actually the best engine it's got the most power to weight the durability is slightly increased but the fuel consumption is the same for all the engines so we're going to go ahead and throw that in the thing we can now upgrade the gearbox on the scout vehicles because I actually did go and um, explore the, well I did find the upgrade for these, however I have done a little bit of testing with these and I've discovered that for off-road purposes the stock is actually uh, my preferable choice so um, I guess if you're using a freeway truck you could put the freeway in if you're doing a lot of extreme off-roading you could put that in but I actually just prefer the stock so I'm going to leave that in there the suspension it is usually locked but we can go ahead and raise the suspension so we're going to do that the tyres um, I've leveled up quite a lot since the last video so we have unlocked nearly all the tires that we can and uh, the tires that I actually want to go and unlock today 
are these mud tyres down here. They're absolutely massive mud tyres, but you can see the off-road is excellent and mud is excellent. They are massive 33 inch mud tyres. Um, the on-road is poor, but I'm not really too fussed about that. So we're going to go ahead and throw those on. The winch, we are going to put the autonomous scout on because I have a feeling we may roll over in this thing. It's quite top end heavy. Then we can actually go ahead and, well we can actually go ahead and fit a spare wheel to the thing. You have to reach rank 13, we're only rank 11. Um, so yeah, we'll just leave that off. Frame add-ons, we can fit an off-road roof rack. You can see it's just up there. Um, this thing, I don't know how well it's going to cope with fuel, um, so we've got six fuel canisters up there, some spare parts and a spare wheel, so I'm definitely going to throw that on. The snorkel, there are two different snorkels, you can have this tall mushroom one, or you can have the tall forged sheet, I actually prefer that one, so we'll throw that on there. Then in visuals, in miscellaneous, there are quite a few different options actually. You can have the round beacon, don't really like that. You can have the cabin air conditioner, don't like that either. You can have small parking lights, you can have tri-square beacons, you can have twin horns, you can have the fog light protective bar, which actually looks sick. You can have the ladder on the back or you can have the can factory sun visor so i'm going to put this fog protective bar on we're going for the full off-road look with this and i'm also going to put the roof ladder on the back then on the front bumper oh sorry on the back bumper there is this one different option you can have tow loops but i actually don't like that and it does remove the ladder which is a shame and then on the front there are a bunch of different uh, front bumper options but sadly they are all locked so we're not going to be able to apply any of those um, but I'll just show them in case you are interested and then obviously you can change the rims if you want to um, I actually think they do look a little bit better so we'll throw them on it and then actually I did just forget we can go ahead and paint the thing if you've got the DLC pack you can get this awesome um, eight ball livery kind of with the flames and the two-tone purple and blue it looks absolutely mad um, I do really like this but for the build we're going with don't think it really works so um, you can go to two tones you can get orange and uh, white you can have brown and white you can have yellow and white or you can have the stock blue and white I'm actually feeling like a dark green today something like this actually looks quite cool so I think we'll go for that and that is the thing as well customized as we can with the current level um, so to just show you the map quickly, if we open up the local map, we are here in Drownlands at the moment. Um, we basically need to just follow this road all the way up to Quarry, which is up here. And then when we get through Quarry, then we just need to travel uh, from here, which is the gateway from Drownlands. We need to just travel up here to the Quarry. All right, we're outside for the first time in the can loaf this thing smokes like an actual train uh yeah not the most environmentally friendly vehicle in the world but that is not why we're here today we are going to go exploring in this thing so it's pretty much a straight road up to um the quarry uh we just basically stick on this road and we will reach the checkpoint Okay, we are just coming up to the quarry checkpoint. It's just around the corner here. And I just wanted to share a couple of things that I've discovered about the loaf just while we're making our way. Uh, number one, it is very, very top heavy. So rolling in this thing is a real possibility. So you've got to be really careful. Uh, number two, it is a little bit underpowered, um, so although the the wheels said they were good mud and good off-road capability, 
um, it did struggle a little bit in some mud back there nothing too serious um, but I just thought I'd share that however the wheels didn't seem to be too bad on the road so that was at least one good point about the vehicle but we are now here at the checkpoint so let's go and tra travel to the quarry and here we are in quarry um so this is a map that we've not actually traveled to yet on the series i have traveled to it off camera um i've not really explored it all you can see is i've just traveled to Zinigorsk. uh that's all i have done um but the checkpoint in case you are wondering to travel to the rift is actually up here now um it doesn't actually appear on the map as like a tunnel um, it's kind of just like a teleport sort of thing so it, it's just the square box that lets you travel there's actually no tunnel uh, but you basically just have to drive around the outside of the um, the quarry and just travel up this little road and it is just up there but before we do that I am actually just going to fuel this thing up because that's another thing that I discovered about the loaf it is a little bit thirsty um, we have got the fuel canisters on the roof but when we get to the rift I don't know how many fuel stations or fuel trailers is going to be so I'm just going to keep it topped up and there we go fully fueled up once again there is actually a fuel trailer here uh, sadly well we can tow it with the winch but I think it will be a bit heavy and this thing doesn't have much power so I don't really see any point in that um, hopefully we've got enough fuel on the roof to sort of bide us over if we do run out um, actually don't know where we want to be going either so we want to turn off here and then we want to take this little road here and then just follow it around until we get to here all right there is quite a bit of water here um i have tested this thing briefly in the mud and it wasn't great i'm going to be honest with you so i'm going to stick it straight in low range because it did cope better in low range and i'm going to stick close to the edges as well because i want to be near trees when we inevitably have to winch this thing out and if we do roll we've got the autonomous scout so that's something we've got quite good ground clearance uh, we've got fuel on the roof so I mean it's not it's not too bad of a vehicle it's a little bit underpowered you can see here this is the underpoweredness it's not really the tires or anything like that let's winch to that tree over there now the autonomous scout winch in case you're wondering is probably the least powerful winch in the game and it is also only available on the scout vehicle so like the little vehicles like the loaf here and uh, things like the car marshal and the the chevrolet those little vehicles um, can get the autonomous scout and basically it's it allows you to use the winch even if you stall the engine so if this thing rolls over which it probably will do at some point um, the engine will stall but then we can actually use the winch to correct ourselves again and I don't want to be traveling across this whole entire map with another truck just to rescue this thing so I figured we'll put, put the autonomous scout winch on here and then we can actually just correct ourselves when we do inevitably roll over this is really where this thing feels at home just bobbling along a little road like this pulling wheelies doing stoppies yeah it's a little bit bouncy this thing when you do put the ray suspension on if you've ever driven a jelly car in like forza horizon or something like that it's similar to that it does seem to tip over quite a little bit right we've got a little bit more rock crawling so those of you who may have already seen the rift map will know that we actually have to travel up here which is horrendous but luckily that one tree sticking out from the rock there we can actually winch to that so um, we can sort of anchor ourselves to the rock hopefully I'm actually going to stick it in low range again 
Okay, that's not where I want to attack. I think we need to be a bit further ahead. Luckily, this thing... Actually, I don't think we need the winch. Yeah, this thing's not too wide. Some of the big trucks that I've seen in the video struggle to get around that bit. And that's why you need the loaf. Because this thing is really skinny. And it can get through little places like that. And there we go. So, you can see there is actual... Uh, sorry, there is actually no, like, tunnel... Um, there's just the yellow box here. It's kind of hidden. So if you didn't know it was here um, I'll just show you on the map where it is again. It's just right here um, It's on the quarry map and um, Yeah, you just travel to here and travel to the rift And there we go. There's no actual like cinematic thing for the rift which is kind of a shame I would have liked to have seen that um, but we are here now in the rift. This is the brand new map. Um, it's not actually massive There are only four watch points to go and discover um, but the objective that I want to go and do today is Those of you who follow SnowRunner might know about the APC Now previously the only way to unlock the APC was to travel to Zinegorsk and go and find it but since the rift has come out, there is actually another way to get the APC. The APC is somewhere hidden in this map, excuse me. And if you go and rescue the APC, then you get basically given the APC. So today I want to go and see if we can find it and rescue it and then claim it as our own. Now I have no idea where it is, um, so we'll have to find that out. But we're just going to have a little explore and see what we can find today. Okay, so I think we want to just carry on down this road here. Um, it's a little bit bumpy. There is actually a fuel station just up here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and stop there and fuel the thing up. And I have just watched a brief video rescuing the APC. And you do actually have to fix the thing and fuel the thing up. So we need to try and use as least fuel from the roof rack as possible because we are actually going to need that to rescue the APC with. So where was that fuel station? We want to just carry on here and then go around here and the fuel station is just there. From videos I've seen on YouTube there is a load of things we can go and do on this map. We're definitely going to be exploring it over a couple of videos um, so it should be definitely interesting there's a bunch of vehicles you can actually go and explore in this map as well so I think there's three vehicles you can unlock just in this one map and it's not actually a massive map either which is kind of nice so yeah and here we are at the fuel station. Let's go ahead and fuel up the loaf. But I have also just noticed there is a fuel carrying trailer right here. I don't know if this is one that we can tow. We can. Okay, so. I have a feeling it might be worth taking this with us. Um, if we do get stuck, we can always just ditch it, but... You know, it's always worth having a little bit of extra fuel. So, we want to actually go this way. Um, there is actually a watchtower right here that we could try and get. Um, but I think we probably just want to carry on on this road and then go around to here. We'll see if we can get this watchtower whilst we're passing, but I don't know whether the loaf is going to have enough power. It's struggling up this hill a little bit. It's quite thick mud and it's uphill and we're towing a trailer and this thing's very underpowered, so not the best combination, but it has done it, which is impressive. Hmm, that does look quite steep. Shall we give it a go? I don't know. Um, there are a couple of trees. I'm going to detach the trailer. We'll come back for that in a second. If it doesn't fall all the way down hill. And we'll give it a go. Um, I want to get straight on. Because I don't want to roll. There is a tree or two to winch to. 
I'm going to stick it in low range. Let's see what the loaf can actually do when given the chance. The watchtower is just right in front of us. This thing's actually a bit of a beast. It's made it up there pretty well. I was not expecting that. And it has actually discovered the watchtower there. If we go ahead and launch the observation, look at that scenery. Absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of trees, but it is absolutely beautiful. And we can now, yeah, we can see a little bit of the map again, which is nice. And um, we've uncloaked a few things. So there is a service trailer over here. We've uncloaked a few missions and we have also found the APC. There it is. It's right there. It's really not too far away from us now. Right, so we want to go back down there where we just came up from. Because we need to tow the trailer with us as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to stick it in low range just so we have a bit of engine braking. It's always very useful. Don't hit the tree. Don't roll. Oh. This is a bit of a brown trouser moment. Okay. That was slightly terrifying. Yeah, I think if you did that in real life, you really would have brown trousers. That was um, a little bit interesting. Right, I've just planned out a little route that we're going to take to get to the APC. Um, what the hell is that thing? And here we are. This is like the little settlement thing where the APC is. Can we see it? Not quite. Oh yes, we can actually. It's just there right in front of us. It's kind of camouflaged. That's actually awesome. Look at the APC actually awesome it's a little bit stuck in a river as well I hope this thing's gonna have enough power to pull that out of there I want you to connect to the APC okay there we go right finally come on truck you can do this oh the APC is actually driving itself out so that's one good thing where do we need to where do we need to deliver this thing to? The safer area is just over there. Okay, so we want to kind of go um, this direction. Uh, the APC is just driving itself out of there, which is kind of nice. I thought it was wrecked. Apparently it's not. There's also a curtain side trailer just over there, which is kind of useful for some future missions there we go right apparently that is the safer place that we've got this thing to now we have to go and fix the thing up before it actually lets us have the vehicle right okay so we need to go to repair and the target is the APC um, we've got 300 repair points which is not that many. Ah, we just need a couple more for the gearbox. Okay. Um, we can go ahead and fuel the thing up though at least. So if we go to refuel we can the source we want the yeah the fuel trailer and the target we want the APC. Can we actually now get into the vehicle? No, we can't. Okay. We just need a couple more repair points. Luckily, there is actually a service trailer just up here. I don't know if we have to be attached to the service trailer, though. That's the only issue that I can see. And I think you do. I fear we may need to be attached to the service trailer for this thing to work to be able to use the service trailer I do believe you have to be attached to it and just attaching to the service trailer with the winch I don't think works I'll give it a try just in case it does um, 
no it doesn't work so you can see the source we can't actually change that I've decided to cheat just a little bit I decided to go and have a look um, at the missions to rescue the other big rigs in the map and they all require sort of an extra mission and a few more sort of spare parts to go and rescue them so I decided instead of doing that we would just go and get the International Scout from one of the previous episodes. That also has some spare parts on the roof you can see. I thought we'd just bring that over to the Rift map and see if we can fix the APC with that. So it's going to be a little bit of a long journey. I'm just going to follow the same route I did with the, um, with the loaf and just make it to the APC basically so I will see you when we get over there alright we've just arrived now at the APC with the international hopefully we should have enough repair points to repair that thing up and then we can claim it as our own and then we can drive the thing so we go to repair we want to repair the roof rack the target We've just got that one left, and I think oh, we might have to just refuel the thing, the target, we want the APC, and there we go. Oh, and we have leveled up as well, um, so you can see there you get 470 um, RP for that, which is actually quite a lot in this game, so uh, if you're looking for a good way to level up, um, it's quite an easy task as well. But we can now jump in the APC, fire this thing up, oh my god, it smokes like a train as well, but this thing, oh ho ho, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this vehicle, um, yeah, we are just stuck on a wall a little bit, <laughs> um, but this thing is an absolute beast. I've watched quite a few videos of it on YouTube. This thing is a go anywhere vehicle, do anything vehicle. Um, the only thing it can't do is tow a trailer, unfortunately. Um, but with the winch, you can technically tow a trailer. You just can't actually connect to a trailer. Um, it has the four wheel steer at the front. It's got eight amazing tires this thing has excellent mud and off-road capability and it is an absolute beast uh, but that is going to do it for today's video um, we have explored a little bit of the brand new map the rift and i also showed you guys how to get to this map so if you're interested in that then uh, you can just replay the video and uh, in the next video we're definitely going to be going exploring in the APC right here we're also going to be customizing this vehicle in the next video so if you are new to the channel and you want to see that then don't forget to subscribe we recently hit 300 subscribers on the channel which is absolutely incredible so we are now going for 400 we're almost at 320 subs at the moment so if we can keep climbing that would be absolutely brilliant thank you to the support from all of you so far and again i just want to apologize that this video did come a little bit late uh, but i hope you have enjoyed thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video